Starting in March 1985, news articles began appearing touting this brand new process that was being developed, which scientists were calling, quote, DNA fingerprinting. I'll read you part of an Associated Press piece that ran in December of 85. Scientists at Britain's National Crime Laboratory are testing a new technique they say makes it possible to identify murderers and rapists from blood samples with virtually no chance of mistake. This technique has not yet been tried in police work anywhere in the world, but could revolutionize crime detection. It's got to be the most exciting thing that has come along for a long time in forensic science, said the deputy director of the Central Research Establishment. However, a spokesman for the Home Office said the technique was expensive and predicted it would not be used routinely in the near future. Mm, okay. So I wonder how many rapists and murderers were reading these articles in 1985 and getting That's nervous. such a good point. Like, oh my gosh, they found a way to like collect my blood and figure out that yeah. it's me. 